is Ms. Bellinger. Uh, what subject do you teach? Um, I teach 8th grade literacy and I also teach the advanced 8th grade and 9th grade English class to 8th graders. What inspired you to become a teacher? Um, I actually wanted to be a music teacher because I played a lot of instruments in school. I played the violin and the cello, the clarinet and the piano, but I was never really that good at any of them that I really could have gone to college for music. So I was good at uh, writing and reading, so I decided to study English and become an English teacher instead of a music teacher. Mm -hmm. What would be your motto as a teacher? Um, I think my motto as teacher is that there is no replacement for hard work. Um, it does take a lot of work to teach and I want to um, have my students learn that too, that even if you're talented and you're good at something, it's still going to be a lot of time and effort, especially for teachers like outside of the school day, it takes a lot of time and effort, but I think that's evident when we can create good lessons and give good feedback to our students. What is one goal you have for this school year? Well, this is my fourth year teaching at Vernon, so I feel like Miss Champion, the other literacy teacher, and I have a fairly good handle now on our content. So now we're kind of going through and improving some of the stories and books we read with the students um, and making sure we're incorporating different parts of literacy, especially getting kids to read informational text and getting students to do more writing. And I also want to get started with the yearbook earlier than the last quarter of school, so I have more time to work on that and can include as many pictures as possible of different students and all the cool events that they participate in. What is your biggest pet peeve as a teacher? <laughs> well, I have a ceiling tile that says, wait, what are we doing? So I have to say my biggest pet peeve is when I've spent quite a bit of time giving directions and I've made a beautiful document and I put it online and I gave it to students and then someone says, wait, what are we doing? So I, <laughs> I sometimes get a mildly annoyed when that happens, but usually there's a different place that kids can go to to read those directions again if they need them. What do you like most about teaching? Um, I actually, what I like most about teaching is getting to see students do the things that they're successful in. So it's great to see students be successful in the classroom, but because I do yearbook, I go to all the events or most of the events for kids, um, like choir concerts and band concerts and basketball games and see the play. And it's so fun to see students do things that they really enjoy and that they excel in. Um, and even students who might be super quiet in the class that I go to a choir concert and they're singing beautifully on the stage, or maybe they're a student that doesn't participate a lot and then they're playing Playing, you know, they're a starter on the basketball team, so I like getting to see students do their favorite things. What is one thing you don't like about teaching? Um, it's hard. I have two small children, so sometimes I feel like I wish I could spend more of my after school or evening or weekend time with them, and sometimes I end up having to do grading at home or planning at home, so it's, it's hard to find the time for my, my own children and then for school too sometimes. Do you have any advice for middle schoolers? Um, I actually had a wonderful middle school experience, which I know is very rare, <laughs> and a lot of students do not. Um, and I do think for some kids, it will take some time to really find their tribe. But my husband, on the other hand, went to a small rural school and did not have a wonderful experience. And so I think it's just that it, everyone will find their place and everyone will find a group of people and an activity that they love doing and hopefully a job that they love too. But for some people, it's going to take longer than others, and then that's okay. Hopefully, it'll come soon. Sooner than later, but hopefully for everyone they'll find that group of people that they really enjoy spending time with.